Okay, this is another problem done by request. The 2011 AMC 10A problem 22, which was also the 12A problem number 16. Each vertex of a convex pentagon, A, B, C, D, E, uh, is to be assigned a color. There are six colors to choose from, and the ends of each diagonal must have different colors. How many different colorings are possible? So for starters, uh, again, you might feel like you don't know where to begin. Just start with the basics. They said it's a pentagon. Draw a pentagon. Uh, it doesn't have to be regular, but you know something that you can work with. So we'll call this, uh, obviously, A, B, C, D, and E. And now we think about it. There's six colors. And one of the ways to satisfy the condition that the diagonal AC, it, for example, is a different color, like A and C cannot have the same color. A and B can, but A and C and A and D cannot. Uh, three cannot have the same color, because if E, A, and B were all the same color, E could connect to B and be a diagonal, and that would be bad as well. So we're going to want to make cases, and the cases are as follows. Uh, case one is five different colors. Um, case two will be uh, two one color, and then three other colors. Uh, case three will be when there is two of one color, two of a different color, and one of a third color. There's no more cases because that's all you can have. You can't have three of the same color. It's impossible given the restrictions. So you just start working through the cases. If five different colors are what's happening, then A will have six choices, five, four, three, and two. And since it's, uh, there's no one for six factorial, but you don't really need it because the one doesn't change the value. So it's equivalent to six factorial, which is 720. Again, we're good so far, just keep going now. Uh, in order for there to be two of the same color, it must be two vertices that occupy the same side of the pentagon. So AB is an option, BC is an option, CD, DE, and EA, and there's five sides. So you first have five choices about which side is going to have uh, end points with the same color vertice or vertex. So... Uh, next up, we want to choose the other colors. Let's say A and B were the same color. Which color is it? Uh, six choices for that. After you've made that decision, C will now have five choices, D4 and E3. And the order does matter because they have names. They're specific points. So uh, here you get uh, 20 times 3 is 60 um, times 5 is 300. Uh, 20 times 3, 60 times 5, yeah, 300 times 6 uh, is 1,800, yeah. Okay, so that's case 2. Case 3, the 2, 2, and 1 case. Now, this is where everybody makes their mistake. They often start by choosing the two sides, and they do like 5, choose 2. But this doesn't really work because some sides can't be chosen. For example, A, E, and A, B cannot be chosen. Um, so, in fact, what you want to do is start with the one node that is not part of a, a, a two-side or two of the same color side. So, for example, let's say it's node D or vertex D that has this situation. Then D, there was five choices for which point was going to have that. And once you've made that point decision, then there is six choices for the uh, color to be. All right, now, once you've made that, now look at the other side that you have available. You have E, A, B, C, but A, B is not an option anymore. Because if you choose A, B, E, and C are not a side, you won't get the two sides. So you can only have side A, E with side B, C being the other decision. Um, you don't really get to choose beyond that, so this is a forced choice. Then you just choose what color do you want A and E to be, that's going to have five choices remaining because D took a color already. And then BC will have four choices. 30 times 20 is 600. Then this gives 1,800 plus 720 is 2,520 plus another 600 is 3,120. And that's the answer. If you like this video, please subscribe.